Hello students, here we are going to learn about DWDM. So first of all, DWDM, so dense wavelength division multiplexing, so DWDM. So is an optical multiplexing technology used to increase the bandwidth of existing optical network so the basic working principle of wdm is to transmit multiple signals at the different wavelength at the same time on the same fiber so this is the main feature of the dwdm so this technology is also create multiple virtual optical fibers so for the increasing bandwidth on the existing fiber optical backbone or optical network so in this case more uh, specifically that the technique multiplex uh, the light spectral along with the some spacing of the single fiber uh, carrier in the given fiber in order to take some advantages so this advantage uh, may be achievable transmission performance examine like the minimum dispersion or attenuation so basis on the wdm is advantage for the particular uh, fiber network or uh, the WDM network. So WDM in this case uh, will provide some kind of features or WDM also define the some kind of way that in this way the given information transmission capacity the total number of optical fiber required can be reduced or WDM means the wavelength division multiplexing is a kind of transmission technology in fiber for the communication. So it is used one optical fiber to transmit multiple optical carriers with the different wavelength at the same time. So that provide a very great features. So WDM, uh, WDM provides uh, that the wavelength range of optical fiber into several wave bands. So this is again the feature of the DWDM and this in the several wavelength uh, so each wave band is used as independent channel transmit a predetermined wavelength optical signal technology so using this feature you can just define that the multiple transmit using predefined predetermined wavelength signal in the optical technology so in this case uh, the wdm can combine and transmit the different wavelength at the same time so this is a main feature of the wdm so in the same fiber so same time in the same fiber to be effective so the one fiber is covered into the multiple virtual fiber so more number of data can be transmitted using dwdm so if you if you plan to reuse uh, eight optical carriers uh, for that purpose so that op optical cable so one fiber and so the transmission capacity will increase from i think 2.5 gb ps to the 20 gb ps clear so that kind of uh, network signal or capacity or can be improved in the using a dwdm so due to this adoption and uh, wdm technology a single optical fiber can transmit more than 150 light waves at the different wavelength so simultaneously eight or each light wave reaches a maximum transmission speed of up to the 10 gbps in this case 10 gbps provided by or as a some kind of manufacturer add a more signals per fiber or terabyte a terabyte per second transfer speed are just be there so a key advantage of wdm is that its protocol and the transfer feed speed are not relevant so the wdm based networks can use several other protocols so in this case of several other protocol is uh, like as ip protocol or sonet or atm atm network asynchronous transfer mode uh, sonet uh, synchronous on optical uh, network uh, i think sonet or sdh both are ethernet protocol also there so all this protocol used to transmit data and the processing data traffic between i think 100 to 100 mbps to 2.5 gbps speed can be achieved 
so in this way the dwdm network can transmit a different types of data traffic uh, as a different speed of laser channel so according to them the quality of service point of view consider that dwdm network quickly respond to customer bandwidth needs and protocol changes in the cost effective manner so some of the principle of the dwdm so in this case dwdm technology uses of smf means single mode optical fiber bandwidth and low loss characteristics so the use of multiple wavelength as a carrier allowing the carrier channel in the fiber at the same time of the transmissions so compare with the common signal system dwdm fully utilize bandwidth of optical fiber so in this case but also the advantage of the uh, simple expansion and the reliable performance also there so in particular wdm w dwdm can directly access multiple services uh, more makes it bright prospect for the applications of the different scenario if the analog carrier communication system is there so in order to analog communication system so in order to fully utilize the bandwidth resources of the cable and improve the transmission capacity so at that time uh, the method of the frequency division multiplex is generally used so that kind of system is there so the same cable used for the several channel of signals are transmitted at same times and the receiver uh, receiving and uh, filter out the signals of the each channel by the uh, using some filtering mechanism i think some band pass filter for the different carrier frequencies